Welcome to the series of conversation with the AV Boot Campers. Today we have Kamal Deep with us. Welcome up Kamal Deep. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I am good too. Thank you. So could you quickly introduce yourself and tell us a little about your family background, hobbies, your educational background? Sure. sure. So as you already know, Kamal Deep, I'm from Delhi. Okay. So I'm the youngest in my family. And most of my uh, siblings are settled okay uh, so about my background uh, i've done btech in computer science uh, after completing my btech i got to know about the boot camp and uh, i gave an interview and uh, fortunately got selected for the boot camp after the boot camp uh, i joined the pesa bazaar as a uh, assistant manager in analytics and uh, i'm still working with them about my hobbies i really like sports and uh, skipping Uh, that's it. Okay, that's wonderful. So as you mentioned that you know you're working uh, with Pesa Bazaar, it sounds so fascinating. So could you like share with us uh, what are your daily responsibilities look like? Okay, so about my daily uh, daily responsibilities, uh, I have to uh, on a daily basis I have to deal with a lot of data. Sure. So we do a lot of analysis uh, for customer segmentation. Try to understand the behavior of the customers. Help the product and the marketing teams with different uh, data requests. Sometimes tracking the funnels, creating different machine learning models for different uh, business problems. Uh, so these are the things kind kind of work that we do at Pesa Bazaar. Okay. And uh, uh, fortunate for me, I really love the job. Okay. Okay, that's wonderful. So how uh, did you get the clarity you know as you mentioned that you uh, did btech in computer science and then uh, you directly moved into data science so what was the point when you know you were so clear that you want to get into the data science industry okay i'll answer that honestly on in the honesty the thing is uh, i was not sure at all okay. uh, when i was completing my btech i was doing in computer science so i was thinking of doing software engineering but then again i was uh, at that moment i was not really sure what to pursue in my life mm-hmm. uh, then one of my friends suggested me that uh, you can look for data science which is quite booming right now so i started with some self paced courses during my time uh, uh, in the final year and uh, with that still i was not uh, convinced enough whether to pursue it or will i be able to do it okay but then i got to know about the boot camp I talked with a lot of people here, and with the time, I got the conf- confidence that yes, I can do this, and this is something uh, I want to do uh, in the future also. So, as you mentioned, that you know, you spoke to a lot of people about uh, this uh, boot camp. So, was it from analytics with the itself, or people who have done similar courses from elsewhere? So, when I started. I had some friends and other well, from some family members who were into analytics. Okay. So I took the guidance from them at the initial stages. Then when I was uh, learning uh, uh, data science on my own, so I got to so I used to read a lot of analytics with their uh, blogging platform. I used to go read a lot of blogs from there. From there, I get get to know a lot of community people uh, from the analytics with the Excel. Then I got to connect with Mukesh sir and people like that. So uh, from there, I got the confidence. Yes, uh, this is something I should pursue. Okay. So like so many people in this in this industry, uh, you two come from a computer science background. So uh, how well versed you know your maths and statistics are? Okay. It was not that good. I was not a very good student. I would not okay. lie about it. Okay. My, uh, people will say I am exaggerating it, but the transition that I had was after joining Analytics India. I had so during the time of interviews, I had a word with Sunil sir. Okay. And it was, you can say, uh, it was life changing for me. Not in the perspective of what I want to follow in my life. But in a sense, whether I want to do it or not, well, look, at that day I decided that I have to do it, no matter what. After that conversation with him, and uh, then things start to change. I started focusing more towards maths and statistics, and there were uh, a lot of mentors like uh, uh, Subhash was there, 
Sharon was there, who was always there to help uh, if I needed anything, any assistance in these topics. Okay, so I am sure that you remember that conversation with Sunil. Yeah. So, would you like to share with us a little about how you know uh, you guys actually discussed that you know give you a very powerful sure, motivation? Sure. It was not less of a motivation, but then more of a scolding. I would say. <laughs> okay. So he was like, "Ki if you really want to pursue it, you are already uh, into all of your self-paced learning. Yeah. But still, you're at uh, point zero, and you're not serious about your uh, uh, career right now. Okay. If you really want to focus, you have to give it all. You have to give. Uh, you have to be consistent. Give every day time to this. Otherwise, no matter what stream you choose, you will never succeed." And in that way, I was like, "Yeah, uh, he's saying everything he's saying is correct, and it's for my own benefit." From that point onwards, I changed to my mentality a little bit. You know, I have to focus more. So okay. That was that. Okay. So I think constant discipline is very important. Very important. Okay. For anything, I would say. Yes, for anything. So even though you know you have polished programming skills. So, were there any specific hurdles that you faced when you actually joined the boot camp and the program began? Okay. So, in a sense, from a coding uh, point of view, I knew a little bit of coding. Sure. Uh, for sure, uh, after practicing on a lot of data here, after doing a lot of projects, it got better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what I learned most important through the boot camp is uh, the business skill, how to understand the business. And how to break a problem into small structures and solve that problem. Okay. So these are the most important thing, and I do this on a daily basis. Uh, whenever uh, some business problems come within my organization, mm-hmm. and even uh, for my own life in real life, I also, if there is a problem, I try to break them into small pieces and try to understand how can I solve them. So that is the most important thing that I've learned from the boot camp. Okay. So I can clearly see that you know you are applying the boot camp learnings in your current yeah. professional as well. So I think that's wonderful. Okay. So now when you decided to join Analytics Vidya's boot camp to solve these hurdles, so what were the value offerings you thought that you know attracted you towards pursuing this program? So the most important part was that it was a job guarantee program, not a job assistance problem program. So I've seen a lot of different uh, companies are uh, giving a job assistance, but in that there is no surety that you will get a job. Yeah. So in that sense, uh, I was the, I mean, surety I will get a job. All I need to focus is on my learning. Sure. So that way I was more focused on the learning. Because at the end, I know that uh, I will get a job. Okay. So there were many life uh, projects, you know, real life projects that you did in the program. So how was your experience with those okay. projects? So uh, uh, every month we used to have uh, different projects that we have to work on. And the most amazing thing about this, we we were competing within each other. Okay. So we have uh, this uh, platform where mm-hmm. we have to submit our scores. And on the basis of that, everyone gets a ranking. And after that, we also have to present our thought process, how we approach the problem, and how we solve that particular problem. So, in and in, in as a whole, it was a competitive environment which pushed us to our limit to get better at uh, the uh, task that have been assigned to us. Okay. So, when you know uh, you were competing with each other, were you able to make friends? Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. Uh, in friendship, there should be a competitiveness. Otherwise, you will not grow. Yeah. If you want to grow, every friend should have that key urge to improve every day. Okay. So, in a sense, I'm still in contact with everyone, okay. and we still compete. Compete. Okay. We talk to each other. What we are working on nowadays. Uh, uh, interact key how to solve the problem. If someone is working on some modeling task, they ask each other. We ask each other how to mm-hmm. solve it. So it is there. It is still okay. there. Okay. Okay. So as a part of an organization, I know for a fact that how you know discipline and consistency is required when it comes to boot camp. So what were there any low points that you felt when you you know started the course or maybe in between? At the start of the course, uh, the amount of time that we have to give to the course, it was 
hard to manage at the uh, beginning okay and uh, i was like ki well, i started doubting myself whether i'll be able to do it or not okay then everything goes back to the conversation i had with sunil sir okay so it was a motivation for me no matter what but i have to do it with time it got easier okay once you get the flow it gets easier yes so uh this is probably my favorite question so there are you know so many people who are aspiring to make the transition into data science or they want to build their career as a fresher and move into data science industry so how impactful do you think you know the job guarantee and the placement assistant for a candidate is very uh, you know important because uh, when you know you were there in your college so there were college placement assistants sure. but not a job guarantee so how like what is the mindset of you as a candidate when you approach to this aspect of any of the program when you know uh, that you have assurance that uh, you will get a job yes then you are not afraid ki man within the course ki i will whether i will be able to do it whether i'll get a job or not you will be matlab your focus will towards learning yes so in that sense it is very well uh, it should be assuring that yes at the end of the day i will get the job but i have to work hard so that when i get the job i will do a good work there yes so in that sense the uh, job uh, guarantee is very important yes so as you mentioned uh, that you know uh, you focused only on your learnings and even when you had a conversation with sunil it kept reminding you that you need to put in your hard work and everything so uh, how did that really change you as a person uh, like i have already told you that was the turning point of my life yes. and uh, love listening to these people following them even on the uh, we don't get to talk to them on a daily basis now but uh, like uh, we got to see on their posts and things like that these things help us to uh, improve ourselves on a daily basis he people are putting so much work out there yeah so why don't we also do the same yeah so in that perspective it changed my life okay all right so is there any particular preparation story you had while you know you were uh, doing uh, placement uh, preparations uh, and having those mock interviews we were having a weekly uh, mock interviews there in that uh, it was a proper uh, mock interview uh, like a real it was exactly like a real interview okay. and then we get to get the uh, feedback and uh, on the basis of that we were also getting scored okay. weekly scored and uh, there was a leaderboard he was doing better and where everyone is lacking it was matlab we were getting a full report of where we are lacking is, is it a business expect is is the python or sql where are we uh, lacking and how to improve that we can always uh, talk to our mentor and week by week i seen that the, for the uh, there was a drastic change between uh, my first mock interview to the last that i did with an rc okay sure so how do you think you know uh, the mentors you know played a role in your journey uh, having a mentor is very important i think for any thing uh when you are learning a skill or you are doing a uh, like you are learning a skill or just started doing something new you always want someone who can tell you who can put you in the right direction there will be times when you will not be able to follow the right direction you will be uh, doing something else but having a, a mentor you can always talk to them they will tell you that this thing is not that important you should focus on this So in that sense it was really helpful. Okay. So like uh did you have any you know funny story to share? So uh, one thing is uh, uh so one time I was uh, having a conversation with uh, Subhash. So I used to get a, uh, into a lot of uh, uh, technicalities in the background of the things. Okay. Uh, so if we talk about a machine learning algorithm I used to uh, uh, start reading the research papers and all. so he was like ki yeah it is important but for the time we don't go that deep okay first start understanding implementing the algorithms then later at uh, or later in your career you can do that yes. so in that sense i was telling you uh, helping me in the right direction yeah so there you know you should focus right now on the right thing 
yes that's very important yeah okay so uh like i think after this uh, boot camp your fundamentals are really strong right so are you able to apply these learnings uh, elsewhere in your life as well like if you know someone comes up to you for advice or anything that you know they want to pursue their career in data science this happens on a daily basis like uh, people approach me on linkedin on different platforms so i i know how i started my journey so i don't want anyone to uh, uh, get uh, distracted or get the wrong uh, impression impressions so that's why i always help them to get the right direction just yes. how people help me so how do you feel on being on the other side of the table now it really it's, it's never been on a, it's never the other side of the table it's just back and forth sure. you always learn from someone then you pass it on to someone yeah. so i'm still uh, it's not like we are more than some stage like i'm also only giving i'm also learning from people yeah so it's just back and forth yes that's wonderful so any advice you know uh, you would like to give to the beginners you know who want to build their career in data science sure uh, in my opinion uh, people should uh, focus on uh, their analytical skills their structural thinking uh, programming is important but if you don't understand the business problem well you won't be able to uh, understand the what implement implementation that you have to do Okay. in reality uh, in analytics your most of the job would be done in a easier way you don't need uh, machine learning for everything every business problem doesn't need machine learning this is the most important thing that i've learned when i started my career okay so uh, i think everyone should focus more towards uh, uh, understanding the problem how to deal with it mm-hmm. and the more structural thinking things like that okay So uh, another question is, uh, what were your specific challenges when you decided to enter this field with zero work experience? Okay, so uh, it, when I started my professional career, uh, it was very difficult because just like I told you, I was like uh, for me, an analytics was like only machine learning and things like that. But then uh, when I started my professional career, I got to know no, not everything uh, requires machine learning. there are a lot of different aspects that you have to focus on and uh, then uh, it was uh, challenging for me at first but uh, later uh, I keep on i keep on trying and things got better okay so boot camp offers an uh, additional you know internship so how was your experience with that uh, internship in a sense uh, helped us a lot uh, to uh, learn more Okay. we were learning uh, so the thing is uh, we were learning on our uh, uh, daily basis but to implement it somewhere that is where uh, you will you learn a lot yes uh, keep on uh, reading something will not help you sustain that but sure. if you implement somewhere it is more sustainable and you will be able to scale it yeah. so in that sense internship helps us okay So, are there any specific tools you know that you learned in the program, and you are still applying it? Yeah, every tool that I've learned, I'm applying it on a daily basis. So, we learned SQL, Excel, Python, and Tableau here. And in my organization, we are using all these tools on a daily basis. Okay. So, I only work on these. Okay. All right. So, thank you so much for being with us here. It was lovely to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.